Hello everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, uh, I'm going to talk about a game between Veselin Topolov and Vishwanathan Anand from the year 2005. This is just a simple experiment on to try to understand uh, the difference in decision making and perception of engines and humans and also probably to understand a very important element of chess itself, uh, the art of problem creation. So how to create problems in an equal portion, right? So mostly chess is uh, equal and uh, yeah, so you have to, uh, a very important element of it is to ask your opponent difficult questions so that he makes some mistake and uh, we change the assessment of the portion for our benefit. So as you can see on the board here, white has, uh, what do we say, white has a bishop and pawn for the rook. Since my bishop and pawn are excellently placed, I have sufficient compensation. Maybe I would dare to say even slightly more than sufficient compensation. But the portion is objectively equal as the engine say like 0 0.00 and 0 0.05. <laughs> but uh, yeah, one thing is that black is solving problems here and white is posing problems. So white is hoping for a bit more than uh, equality and black is happy with the equality in this portion. Because, yeah, of the portion of the pieces and the general nature of the portion. So, black played queen e5 here, protecting h5. And now white poses a slight problem, queen d1. So, as you can see, with all these arrows, the threat is actually bishop f4, bishop into d6, and bishop f7. And uh, black goes back queen e8. So, the computer recommendation here is actually to play queen into h5. Now, after rook c6, bishop c6, queen c6, queen f3. This is what the computer wants to play. But, uh, you know, it's it does not lead to anything actually. Queen into f3, king into f3. Black plays a5, king e4, b4, king d5. I go bishop e7. And if anything like king c4, black plays e4 and then b3. White has no chances to win this uh, 3 versus 2, right? 3 versus 2 bishop ending, there aren't really any chances because I can put my pawns on the light squares. So anything like bishop c5, I, go, I don't exchange this and uh, there isn't really that something that white can do here because king b5, bishop b6, I take and play a4. So there's nothing to attack and uh, yeah, the portion is just equal actually. So Leela 0 gives 0 0.29 for some reason, I don't understand, but uh, you can analyze it to the end and decide. It should be a draw. So what to do here? Um, queen f3, black would reply with queen e5. Queen c2 does not change the position. You're taking your eye off um, the king side, no? So, but what white did here was fascinating for me and it's still a very deep idea, I think, even now when I look at it. Um, so white went queen h5 and after rook c6 so the moves that are recommended here um, queen g6 none of these give white any advantage queen g6 stockfish says uh, 0 0.51 I'm not sure why because queen d7 bishop h6 bishop f8 yeah whatever white does he's going to end up in a pawn up in a ob ending with no chance of winning this portion. I mean, this this is this is just a dead drawn portion. So, completely equal. So again, what do we do to pose a problem, right? So, if we take on c6, then there's nothing. We are not challenging him. And if we play queen g6, also leads to a draw. Wesselin Toplow's idea was here was incredible for me at least. And yeah, he plays bishop into a7. So when I looked at the initial portion, and even when I looked at this game, I thought white's compensation laid in the portion of this pawn, right? Which black just eliminated on c6. But apparently, uh, Toplow shows here that um, there's more to the portion. And uh, as you will see in the game, this is a wonderful way to pose problems here. And something, at least the uh, computer does not show as its top choice, I don't know. I'm just using cloud engines here just to not, uh, yeah, you know, use my laptop engine so that, you know, just to keep the experiment as clean as possible. So, um, 
it's hard to understand uh, what white is doing here but fundamentally what i think is that white has not changed the nature of the position that is um, he has not uh, he has kept it in the zone where he is he cannot lose this position because he, he does not have any real weaknesses and still his pieces are active and um, black is still solving problems so he has kept it in such a this position in such a way that uh, he has not risked much but black is solving some different problems so rook a6 bishop d4 bishop f8 yeah so some interesting position and now wesselin's moves also again very interesting bishop e5 just taking away more squares from the black pieces stopping rook d6 and so on and uh, yeah just uh, controlling the board more with these two uh, giant i mean incredible bishops so human uh, generally as you can see the computer still says there is no problem and um, objectively i don't think there is any problem and that is the nature of chess also there is rarely any problem in a position right so problems are usually human in nature and humans only have problems right so we we need a uh, a logic we need a reason to make a move and some of them uh, some of the moves uh the computer maintains a balance with are not uh, does not come into a logic so we find it hard here so still it's absolutely equal the position is absolutely equal only i think and maybe even slightly better for black i don't know what the computer says but to me it looks uh completely equal right so b4 very logical move defending not keeping that pawn loose and white plays queen f5 right so nothing changes yet and maybe i can play h5 and bishop e4 and and uh, yeah so what is what to do is black's problem right that's always the black problem so we see goes g6 and you can see that the assessment of stockfish is minus 0 point it's equal only still but yeah slightly favoring black now queen f4 but even though the assessment keeps changing it is white who is posing problems in this game and not black so that's kind of misleading i think and uh, but still whatever it says we cannot argue. i mean objectively uh, it should be true but yeah there is a subject humans are when you're playing a game it feels different right so queen e7 so bishop wants to play bishop g7 exchanging this bishop i know very fascinating move by top row so stockfish i mean you can see that to me that is what is interesting how are, how we are posing problems to the opponent and after i mean something like h5 i don't think i think even bishop g7 should do unless i'm losing so there is no reason i think uh, black would avoid this and uh, yeah this is exactly what he wants so but vaselin sees that that is what black wants so he keeps the bishop let me just run away with it i don't want to exchange rook a7 so yeah um stockfish thinks black is much better 0.50 okay slightly better but 0.50 is a big number queen f3 bishop g7 so lila is better at it i think so yeah so bishop b7 so some logic in, is there in white's play sorry black's play and also white's play rook b5 bishop e3 so fundamental problem for a human being is what is my next move and uh, why should i make it so we we don't we don't uh, we decide our moves based on some logic or plan or calculation right so i mean it's not so clear why i should make this so bishop c3 very natural move but something the computer doesn't like so queen f6 and i think black is okay definitely right queen d1 queen f5 bishop b3 bishop c3 and it's still equal but also it's always in the zone that um, white is never in danger it is always in the zone that um yeah white is never losing this position but he's continuously posing some problems there are a lot of tricks and shots tactical shots that black should stay alert for 
and that is what white is playing for right so bishop c3 very normal move and during the game it's very hard to understand why this natural move should be a mistake right could there be a more natural move and uh, yeah bishop g5 queen a7 yeah and now queen a7 already there is some shots that coming that is coming black's way and kind of things are turning kind of difficult for queen d3 and uh, yeah black played rook b6 here queen a6 the problem seems to be bishop d8 putting everything under freeze and uh, you know rook b6 is not possible because of queen e4 i think yeah a lot of threats coming my way coming uh, black's way and after rook f6 i mean uh, even if i take this i should be better as compared to the game i don't know if i'm still winning but you know psychologically it is very difficult for black so here um, yeah here it's already kind of bad for black rook b6 so he keeps posing these minor problems and uh, to me if a player like vishy can go wrong then anybody can go wrong i think and uh, it's basically how you create problems right so you learn how to create problems in this position and uh, queen d3 rook b6 now bishop b3 we get the piece back queen a6 yeah now it is tactical shots are coming our way bishop f7 probably vishy missed this but king f7 queen d7 king f8 queen d8 king f7 queen c7 very important move by the way queen into b6 queen into a2 queen into g6 so i'll stop the game here actually but the game was actually a draw vishy uh, managed to save this position 3 versus 1 and but um, yeah something that white has done here or veselin topolov has run here has prompted black to go wrong and um, so that is what is interesting and um, the way he poses problems right so what is a problem to a human and what is a problem to a computer are very different so uh, sometimes you have to find out what is your problem and why you are not able to make a decision as compared to the objective value of the position or anything of that sort if you cannot find the next move or if you don't know what to do then basically you have a problem right and you have to find a way to solve that problem and computers have been used for that computers are extreme i think probably expert problem solvers but um i still feel humans are extreme they <laughs> good at problem creation i might be wrong but that is just my opinion so this is just something that uh, this is just a game that was interesting for me that was enlightening for me in trying to understand the human behavior and mistakes and so on and uh, yeah so how computers don't understand the problems of humans basically computers are, can understand that it is equal but when you're playing this portion on a board you you feel like you're constantly solving something you feel like uh, yeah you feel a pressure a lot of pressure as black in this position that is the main problem and the mistake seems to be a very natural move i mean that is a, most mistakes that the top players make are very natural i mean they are good moves uh, they are probably good moves in a different situation and due to a concrete reason it's a bad move now so yeah still he could have maintained the uh, equality with probably something like queen f8 but it's a very i don't understand the move but yeah just not falling for this but the pressure continues you know when the pressure you continues and uh, when you're playing a cooperative game um, the pressure is what makes you uh, go wrong it is the reason you make mistakes one of the reasons and uh, yeah you can learn a lot from this game and how toplo uh, put pressure on his opponent right that's a very important art i think the art of problem creation i mean creating problems for the opponent is an asking difficult questions to the opponent is art and um, creating something out of nothing is an art and white did it beautifully in this game and um, 
to me there is a some uh, what do we say there is some um gap between what is a problem for a human and what is a problem for a computer and um, yeah even human problems are subject um, most grandmas just stirs or yeah almost all grandmas would admit that weight was always pressing and uh, weight was always better and black uh, made some mistakes under pressure but yeah it is not easy to understand if you are only looking at the company yeah i am not uh, this is just a video to explain the gap between what is a problem for a human and what is a problem for a computer and just for you to understand how computers behave and think and uh, yeah thank you for watching